faith is activated through continuous hearing of God's word. Hearing of God's word consistently helps you to pray, declaring God's will into your life. It will make you manifest to your world. Get set for an empowerment as the anointed man of God, Pastor Peter Balogu, expounds God's will for you. Be connected as you enjoy this timeless message. The battle for the blessing. I'm reading from Genesis 25, verse 24 to 26. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled. Let me make this prayer for someone here. That the days of the delivery of that blessing that you have longed for by the reason of tonight's meeting the lord will cause it to be fulfilled in jesus name yeah. you won't wait endlessly for the fulfillment of that delivery yeah. in the mighty name of jesus there are those that waited for the fulfillment of the day of their delivery and it never came for them they waited all the years and it never came they saw it from afar but it was never a reality in their lifetime i want to pray for you again tonight if there are powers orchestrating around your blessing if there are powers working around your blessings that have said they won't come to fruition in your own lifetime on this ground tonight the lord will reduce them to zero in the name of jesus blessing you have seen from afar the lord will make it a reality in your life yeah. and in your lifetime in the name of jesus yeah. so the bible says and when our days to be delivered were fulfilled behold i love that word behold it was a surprise it wasn't what people were expecting he says behold there were twins in a womb prior to this time there had never been an occasion where a woman conceived and she was with the twins. This will be the very first time a human being, I wouldn't know whether animals had been having twins, but this was going to be the first time a strange thing will happen that a woman will conceive and that they will find two children in a womb. That's why the Bible says, Behold, people were shocked to discover that they were twins. It was a surprise. And I want to use the strength of this scripture to pray for somebody. That which has not been seen before, that which has not been heard before, that which people have never fathomed before, by the strength of this war, the Lord will make it a reality in your life. I said God will make it a reality in your life. In the name of Jesus. So the Bible says there were twins in a womb. And the first came out red. All over like an airy garment. And they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. Usually when you are driving and you see red. It sends an alert into your system that says to you, stop. Usually, red indicates an end. So when that blessing came, it was like, this is going to be the end. But not long after, another one came. And the Bible says that he took hold of the heels. In other words, it may have been difficult for the other blessing to come forth, but for the assistance of the first that had broken forth. If you have ever enjoyed any blessing before, listen, the devil has failed in stopping the other blessings in your womb from coming forth. Because by the same strength that brought out the first blessing, Every other blessing in your womb, the Lord will bring it forth in the name of Jesus. Maybe they have said to you, you have seen the best of life. Say to them, is a lie. The best is yet to come. 
they have put a stopper and they say nothing else can comfort from here say to them it's a lie there is still another one on the heels of the first one that has come and he took hold of his brother's heels and the bible says his name was called jacob and isaac was three score years old when she be there every blessing that the lord has stored in the womb of people for your life the strength they need to push out those blessings the lord will give to them in the name of jesus yeah. you need to understand that prayer there are people that so much desire to help you but they are incapacitated they know what to do to help you but they lack the strength to do it but i'm praying for you tonight at the end of this meeting never again will it happen that you'll go to someone and the person will say oh i would have loved to help you but i don't have what it takes to help you everywhere you go in search for help help will come for you in the name of jesus there is not a blessing in life that is not in contention we are talking about the battle for the blessing every blessing in life attracts strife the moment that thing is a blessing look closely around it there will be a strife there will be contention everything that is a blessing and that's why God when he was creating man at the beginning did not forget to give to man one vital ingredient that will help him to live a fulfilling life he gave to man dominion he gave to man power so that when contentions rise against the blessings of God for his life he will take hold of the dominion and then get what belongs to him many of us we have struggled and we have not been able to break forth you are looking at that blessing like this like apostle paul said he said a great and an effectual door is opened unto me but there are many adversaries you could see the blessing but the, the adversaries around the blessings are just too many for you there is the battle a man will fight by himself there are battles god undertake for man i pray for you tonight the battles that have gone beyond what your strength can handle the almighty God, the one who has positioned the blessings for you, will undertake for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I said God will undertake for you in the name of Jesus. Believe me, when I say to you that the battle for the blessing is real, believe it. It's real. It is real. Right from the book of Genesis, and until we get to the end of revelation everywhere you find a blessing look around it there will be strife there will be contention many people have lost faith in god because the battle lasted longer than they could hold forth many people have lost faith in god because the battle got too hard for them to handle but I'm praying for you that no matter how hard the battle may be no matter how long the battle may take the Lord will make you victorious at the end of it in the name of Jesus yeah.